Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create a gaze time interaction with buttons like that. It's a bit different than the interaction with objects that I showed in the last video, so let's begin. To start, I already have my scene ready to go with the two components to work with VR, the GVR event system and the GVR edit emulator. I also created the player, which is a game object with the main camera inside. Don't forget to add the GVR pointed physics break caster script to the camera and GVR reticle pointer as you can see here. Now let's create our image that is going to represent our gaze timer. Right click on the main camera and let's add an image. Here on the canvas, delete the graphic ray caster and change the render mode from screen space to road space. Ok, now the canvas is way too big. On scale, change from 1 to about 0.01 on X and Y. Ok, we have to reposition in front of the camera, so 0 on X, 0 on Y and about 0 0.5 on Z axis. Select the image now and add our red circle. If you don't have any, check my last video, I show how to create it. Here I also reduce the scale to 0 0.5, change the image type from simple to filled. Now we can see that our image fills according to the fill amount. I like also to check clockwise and preserve respect. One thing I want to mention here before we continue is that on my last video about gaze timer I said to select screen space here on render mode of the canvas. That might work on the computer but if you build on android it won't show. So that was my mistake. The right one is world space. Ok, with our gaze timer created let's create a button to interact with. First create another canvas and inside the new canvas a button. Here on the canvas remove the graphics raycaster and add a GVR pointer graphics raycaster. Also change the render mode the same as we did with the other one. From overlay to world space, I will also reposition here. I will also rescale to 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and reposition here to 0, 0 and now I'm gonna put in front of the player as we can see here. Now let's create a script to interact with this button. I will create a script called GVR button. You can name it whatever you want. And just make sure the script is added to the button. Now open the script to edit. Here on our script, let's first add using Unity Engine.ui as we're working with the images, buttons, and these things. And also using Unity Engine.events. They also help us a lot to interact with the button. So first we need to get the image, so public image, the circle, image circle. Also public unity event. I'll call it GVR, click. And public float. Total time equals two. Uh, bull GVA status status and a public float GVR timer. Awesome. Now let's delete the start method. We don't need it. And we let's create two methods. I'll call it public void GVR on. This, this is to enable and disable when we look at the, the gaze timer when we look at the button. So here GVR status equals true and another method called public void GVR off and here GVR status equals false and GVR timer equals zero and image circle dot fill amount equals zero as well. So that means when we look at the cube, when we stop looking, everything will reset to zero. Here in the update is very simple. If GVR status is true, what we're gonna do, GVR timer plus equals time dot delta time and image circle dot fill amount equals GVR timer divided by total time. Now down here if GVR timer, it's over total time, it's like more than total time, above, whatever, 
we're gonna gvr click dot invoke that's gonna call the click uh, function it's like it's like we're clicking so save the script and let's go back to unity now now let's add the image circle here add another component to the button even trigger and here we need the pointer enter and pointer exit so in the pointer enter we're gonna drag our button here and here no function let's grab the gvr button script and gvr on on the pointer exit click the plus icon drag the button here and the gvr button let's call the gvr off that's gonna make us when we look we activate and we stop looking we deactivate now we have this event here empty there is where are you going to put what you wanted your button to do once it's click it for this example i want to change the scene so for this example i have here the scene changer it's just an empty game object with a script to change the scene so i'll click here in this plus icon and i will drag the scene manager to it and i will call the function from this script scene changer and the function is load scene and the scene i want is my next scene which is scene 2 this is the same one i want to change the scene to this is just an example but here is where you put whatever you want your button to do basically so now let's test here so if i look at the button and you can see it's filling and if i wait to fill congratulations <laughs> i changed for the next scene so there you have it the way you can interact with buttons it's very easy and simple to do so if you accomplish that congratulations Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you have any question, suggestion or anything you just want to say, please leave in the comments below. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So stay awesome and see you in the next one.